you know, that long haired guy that we, uh, we brought on staff uh, back in 71, uh, uh, few of us would have guessed that at the time he would have become, as far as I'm concerned, the most outstanding Easter Seal executive uh, that the national organization or any other organization has ever had to lead their programs. Larry is the kind of person that showed up at Easter Seals right in with no tie, a nice white shirt. Occasionally he would roll it up when he was feeling, you know, kind of preppy. Easter Seals Telethon went from being the smallest telethon in New Hampshire to being the granddaddy because of the passion of Larry Gammon. He wasn't going to let it slide. Even when National started to push away from it, he pulled it back in and said, no, this works and this is how it works. And he made it work. He made it such a powerful recognition vehicle that our VIP program became the most powerful in the whole nation. In telethon days, I think I was known as the host who cried every year. I would be surrounded by kids and I would cry and Larry would be off at the side crying also. He loved the children so much. Easter Seal children just were the world to Larry Gammon. When I was child rep, I, I felt very important. Um, did a lot of fun things. Uh, met a lot of famous people. Um, and uh, just, it was always, it was a very fun year to just, you know, meet a lot of people and um, represent the Easter Seals in, in various, you know, capacities. The time came when um, Bob was moving on um, and we had the task of finding a replacement to fill those big shoes. And so we, we started the, the, uh, the search, but we quickly realized that right in our midst, we had Larry who could fill those shoes quite well. Larry um, was certainly a quick study and he had a very uh, good attitude about can-do attitude to make things happen and uh, that he did. We were ahead of the curve in terms of how you think about frail seniors in our community. Up until then, the most uh, common thought was that you get older and you go into nursing homes and being taken care of in the community, which is very difficult, uh, was not something that people had attacked as a problem to be solved.
people I went out and helped to put together. Uh, a few veterans and a, new, a starting group like Matt Albuquerque and and uh, Bob Wilson and Bob Dashton, some of these older guys, and at the same time went to Ken Clark, the Adjutant General, and Nancy Rollins at the state, and Joe Muncher, people like that, and uh, often got confusing what do you want to do, answers and responses, but uh, finally the message went through, and fortunately a guy named Larry Gammon, poor, poor Larry, he got the brunt of all of this, yes and no's and maybe's, and uh, he stepped up in the partnership. You know, Larry Gammon is probably one of the most unique guys that I've ever met in terms of his, his ability to make people work together as a team, to really focus on really solving problems that are really dramatic and needy in the community. Yeah, so my grandfather founded Farnham Center um, back in the early 1980s, and you know, through his leadership and and board presence, you know, we were able to take Farnham Center uh, only so far. And you know, when Larry and Easter Seals, um, you know, we decided to merge together. Uh, through that merger, you know, it's really you know, a great thing to see Farnham Center, my grandfather's vision, um, carried to, you know, this much greater place in, in the community than we were able to do on our own. So Larry is someone you can't say no to in a good way. So over the years he's gotten to know me and I've gotten to know him and he starts to see that you can't have good overall health without good oral health. And he said, what about an oral health center at Easter Seals? The whole thing started with Easter Seals uh, when I when I took a place in Franklin and made it into a recovery center because I'm in the restaurant game, but I needed it for my own sobriety and it really worked. And Larry was an old friend with Easter Seals and and I said he said to me, "Hey, can I if I ever can I help you? Come on, ask me and I'll come up and help." And I said, good. And then he said, hey, if you ever want us to manage the place, why don't you come up? And I said, well, maybe I do. And then he said, would you sell us the place? And I said, well, maybe I would. I've known Larry Gammon since 1985, and uh, I've uh, sort of grown up with him in the Easter Seals family. And he is the kind of person that takes opportunity and runs with it. And when this building that's named after me came up, uh, as part of Easter Seals leadership, they grabbed this opportunity took the building, did a major renovation to it. really looking forward to the next phase for him because I think it's going to be tricky but I think it's going to be exciting so I'm looking forward to the next chapter.